The state's power grid manager deployed emergency resources this afternoon to avoid supply shortages that would trigger rolling blackouts. Hello, I'm Steve Eager. Hello, everybody. I'm Heather Hayes. So this is the second time this week that the company has appealed for Texans to lower their energy usage. Fox Force Blake Hansen is watching the grid, monitoring the numbers, and joins us now live. Blake. Yeah, Heather and Steve, it is much tighter today than it was on Monday, and it's still unclear at this point in time why ERCOT waited as long as it did to issue that conservation alert. The grid manager did not do so until just before noon. That is after many people had set their thermostats and left for work. ERCOT listed several factors for those tight conditions. Heat obviously driving demand up across the state, but unplanned thermal outages like for gas and coal were higher than expected. Cloud cover is also impacting some solar in West Texas. And so far, it does appear that conservation request was needed. In the three o'clock hour, the amount of reserves available dropped to near 2,400 megawatts. If we had got to 2,300 megawatts, or if we do later this afternoon, that would trigger an energy alert level. A further plunge could lead to rolling blackouts. So the move to wait to issue that conservation appeal has puzzled some. I can't explain it. I don't understand it, and I can't explain it. It doesn't, I mean, looking at it this morning, there, if you're, if you're going to make a conservation call when, when things look, uh, if you were going to make one for Monday, you, then you would certainly make one today. Today looked worse than Monday. Energy prices are also skyrocketing across the state. It was around $65 per megawatt hour this morning, jumped to around $1,500 dollars at two and since about 245 this afternoon it has been at the maximum level the cap set at five thousand dollars now that does not immediately impact consumers but those prices oftentimes trickle down to impact people's electricity bills as well right now it has been fluctuating around in a, a shortly or below 3,000 megawatts to this point in time so we do not have that energy alert level one just yet but again that conservation appeal goes until nine o'clock tonight that's how long they are urging people to especially stay away from using those major appliances that use a lot of energy